Howdy, howdy, folks. How's it going? I'm Attic Goblin, and today we are playing Oxen Free. Um, I was watching someone else play it, and it looked like a really interesting game. That you can like choose different things. Base. Oh, shush. Well, it used to be a ranching thing. Then it was turned into an army thing. Then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Yeah. You... Alex? Oh. Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Cool. Um, yeah. Mission the... control to Alex. Oh, Mrs. sure, sure. Papa, do you read me? Um, yes, yeah, that one. Jonas, what oh. you're seeing right now is what I like to call a trip. This blank stare thing Alex will do sometimes. You might think something's wrong, but there isn't. She's just rebooting. Okay, noted. Eight p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a. You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Aww, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her then? A, uh, second cousin? Step brother! Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I, uh, have... No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. <laughs> so, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> That's a bit weird. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means... Oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. I'm a coming. Pause for the picture. We uh need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this I'm, out. I'm. What am I doing? There we go. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Yeah. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yes. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? I'm pressing shift. There guy. we go. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 88.3 To the left of the dial? I know. 88.3 Shut up. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever Said we call it. Said 8 o'clock earlier. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. 
<laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Okay. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Are we quiet now? Right, yeah. Um, your choices apparently change it and whatnot, so... I thought it'd be fun. It should be interesting to see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Yeah. Sure, why not? Sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. I'm being polite. You should try it sometime. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. Or... Wait, what, what? Oh, there we go. Space? I'm assuming that was to teach me how to pick things up, was it? <laughs> you alright? They're filtered. Yeah, no, it's just been a while. Alright. My other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but... Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. Alright, but... <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. Well, but it, since you, you just go look in the window. Anyway, we're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny. You know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Yeah. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's my it's attic. It's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. <laughs> I heard your mom's dad. Um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? What yeah, did you do? Well, don't believe everything you hear. We can... That was a bit crazy. Catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Okay, okay. Are you both quiet now? Very sign. the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. I may have the music up a bit loud. Oh, look, I can go up and down. I love your run. That's amazing. Run! Run! It's Star. kinda kitschy. Right? It's kinda kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Wee! He's got a very determined walk. I will get up these stairs. Go! Oh. Stop, oh, Joe. I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. 
Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the phone, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I, I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October anyway. It was sunk by I didn't even see uh, Hawaiian god of the sea. The USS I really need to pay. Look, go away, you. More attention. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. There we go. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. That's an, a weird thing to like someone because of. Shuppies. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important- The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, Bush. the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, that'll do it then. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Okay, the tell me about caves. the caves. The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're in pop. <laughs> no way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. So back they go second. way too Who's quick. Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on Man, the That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah, why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spent his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Ren, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's 
very odd saying. Come on then. No, that's not what we wanted to do. Let's go to the cliffs. Up and at them. Or over. Or whatever. Just come on. It's time to go. 9pm. Took me an hour to do that apparently. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, We're going I down. should probably mention that. <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, alright? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Reginald, I hear you over there. I pressed that. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. Come on, Jonas. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. That's yeah. what we said. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. <laughs> Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Hey, what about me? What about you? Come on. Right, I'm going. I'm going to the beach. Gonna do beachy things. I wanna build a sandcastle. What's this? Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh. You mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, hmm. no, I should have pressed let's see a house. Oh. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. I'll you get your beer, Jonas. You have yeah. to tell the oh. truth, but if somebody can tell you it. lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay. So, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? <laughs> Dude, that's, just do it. I just like her as a friend. Might as well. That's that's all. No, I can run away off the island, is it? She's just a friend. Oh yeah, right. Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. 
Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. Oh. And wait, <laughs> wait, that means you'd kill me? Yeah. Out of everyone here, your best friend. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. Okay, settle down. <laughs> so, Alex's turn? Yep, ladies' choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass? Um, no, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something... Uh... Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. One day, she'll reproduce in a cloud of spores. Oh, I want to express that one. Answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, uh, I mean, there, he's he's a nice guy. You're, you're a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. Chicken. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out. So my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. Yeah. Sure Jonas is excited or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine. Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation. Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You Just... know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. <laughs> Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Nope. Super. Sure. <sighs> Whatever. Not telling oh, you a I thing. And Nona can do what she wants. She's her own woman. Nona, come? Uh, well, Nona, no you come way. in. I'm very uh, clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Come on, Nana, come with again? us. Don't stay here with Miss town near North Valley. Pouty Pants. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Oh. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up. Don't yeah. stay in here come with on. her. She's a moody booty. Do you like moody booties? Over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever you're about ready. Dawn. Oh, what, their date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Uh, oh, I can't say. Uh, uh 5. Mm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but 
Not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. I would have said eight, <laughs> but... <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, Thanks you're for, a good person, uh, Alex. Not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. Yeah, that wouldn't have been cool. Would, but, you know, you could have, and you didn't, so thanks. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? I don't because think she's into you, dude. You should tell me. Like, word for word. But, but go for I it. You'll you never should know. Go for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, you only live once, so... Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie town. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here, and just tune the dial left uh, or right until you start hearing where? some weirdness. Uh, follow you, then. Uh, How will we, we know when it's? What's that? Um. Nah. No. I can't follow that. It's way too fast. Oh, hello. Holy crap! This is oh, the voice of the Mr. Ons. This is insane. It must be, uh, like. My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but, you know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what Let's is do the other Clarissa's one. issue? Let's do the other one. Um. Um. Ah. Ah. Dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. I know. Where are the Mr. Roddens? Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. Painful. It sounds. Like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Told you, it's the Mr. Runs. There's like. I'm going. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like. A giant rabies filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bull. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against oh, here wait. because I think wait, shh, wait, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> okay, so.
I think that's about half an hour. I think that's going to be it for today. I'm probably going to record quite a few of these at once because I really want to play this game. I'll, I'll release them, I don't know, every two or three days or something. But yes, I am liking this game. 10 p.m. Uh, pause. How do I pause? There we go. Okay. I can't remember how far into my intro, outro I got. I guess I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Cheers for watching, middies. Join the Goblin Army. Bye-bye.